all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we bring you back to back update and information as to the heart in case it's your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead and subscribe like comment share and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop you will be the first world collect them let's go down to the news proper as it is hot you don't share it as it is be uh yeah see the information will be said for my table now we say a big katakata don't fall off uh, between the men of nigeria army and the ipob members and as it is be uh the men then don't go gather plenty people say these people and then be the IPOB members will be then cash. Uh, but before it be that one, uh, it gets one heavy clash. Uh, will be say the Biafra militant and the NRG army don't have, and I uh, hear say the NRG army then collect water uh, from their hand before after that they can go they move about. Uh, don't they collect these people where they collect say. And then be the IPOB members with the arrest. Even it gets one information now where they come from punch. That information says soldiers arrest IPOB commander, three others in Enugu State. Make we go straight to the full details of that information. Make you see as it they be. The Nigerian army said it has arrested the commander of the indigenous people of Biafra and affiliates the Eastern Security Network. Uchochuku Abba in our local government area of Enugu State. The military, in a release on Thursday, added that three other suspected members of IPOB ESN, Udoka Ude, Ikechuku Olanta, and Ezenna Udi Ude Udi Gewere were also arrested. According to the military, the four suspects were apprehended after their hideout located at as Christ the Catholic Church in Ameta Mbowo of our local government area was raided. It added that Abba sustained a gunshot wound while attempting to flee. Four live cartridges were recovered from the suspect. The statement read, the arrest was made possible during a raid operation of their hideout while they were holding a meeting to take over the leadership of the ESN Autopilot Command Enugu State Chapter from apprehended former commander Chocho. Others arrested are Udo, Udoka Anthony Ude, Ikechuku Olanta, and Ezenia Ugiwere, while five life cartridges were recovered. It could be recalled that Mr. Uchichuku Abba was the second in command to Chochu, a ESN, uh, IPOB ESN member who earlier escaped to Benue State due to the intensify of own operation and was recently arrested. The arrested, arrested people, persons, are presently in custody for further exploitation. It further disclosed the recovery of one AK-47 rifle AK-47 magazine, 25 rounds of 7.62mm NATO special ammunition and one pop action rifle at another hideout located in Nenwe of Agoloku government area. The GOC 82 Division, Nigeria Army Major General H.T. Dada wishes to appreciate the incredible cooperation of other security agencies for the success of the operation. He wishes to enjoin uh, when I don't see, I see they happen. Um, this one now, uh, they come from the last report where we said they drop for you. They come from the energy. I mean, I don't know, talk say uh, for this one, they don't go for Avo. Uh, Nadia, they they uh, come catch some IPOB ESM members. Uh, where we say that they plan to overthrow their Oga for that side. Now, then they give them um, that report, you know, say. Uh, my work not to bring you information on both sides as it be making no go they lack information because remember information is power and also don't forget that to, today is the 15th of december the d day of course i will be up front and up and doing making sure uh, that you will be getting the necessary update that you need today in order to be able to know uh the issue that concerns mazin and the can or Madike, one of Ndubo, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Of course, today is his last outing for the year, and we have received a lot of um hope that 
definitely he is going to come out of detention today uh, because he has been discharged and acquitted by the appellate court uh, even uh, another court in Omaha also discharged him and um you know requested by that uh, he should be given a compensation and in Enugu also Enugu state have also uh, uh, also requested that you know uh, like that you know some money be be given to him for a compensation of character, uh, character deformation and the rest of it there were a lot of things on that particular radar but as it is what we are looking at now is that today is the 15th and we are looking at what is going to be the outcome of the the supreme court today what will be their decision what are they going to decide are they going to finally free Mazen and Kano, or are they still going to be are they still going to keep holding him there uh, because yesterday I, I brought to you the information uh, concerning what Ejofo said. Uh, according to what Ejofo said, he said that uh, it is not just for him to talk, that he knows that Kano will surely be released today. So now, let's be looking at it. It is still uh, early. Let's see what happens be, uh, before the, 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 the court finishes. Because I say, I'm going to make a man or that and remember that the Ohanes and Dibo has also requested that 40 days be given to them, which has passed. Uh, and nothing has been done. No report has been given. And we are still waiting for this court outing to see uh, what is going to be, how it's going to be, what's the possibility of this court benefiting Ohamadike 1 of Ndibo. Keep your fingers crossed. I'm still with you uh, and you with me. Your one, your one and only... Nyo Nyo Koko Puss Master Man where they go Olu Nibo uh, If to say go cost me Make I enter Jamaica with leg Go bring you information I go hear them yeah, I go hear them I no go lie you Supreme Court to deliver Judgment on Friday In Kano's trial Now today be that Friday uh, Very soon the Supreme Court Will deliver the judgment Another information, um, people will be say the day for Lagos. They don't cry as they, they untangle the girl of their building demolitions. Uh, some of them, they, they, they pack the rubbles, will be say, come at things like zinc, uh, rod, and the rest of them for their house. At least they say, even if not that one, then hold. Even though they know say that it's not going to be big money. But you know, say, it gets conditioned way man go day. Man will be billionaire before I uh, even serve one night. I go do okay for them because uh, in don't fall from somewhere. Somebody will be saying, Go build like house of three million, I mean, 300 million for that place uh, where Lagos government demolish. How in go take come back for in feet again? Imagine say uh, the person no get money again, or somebody you get some people will be saying they rent house there, maybe duplex, flat, and the rest of them around that place, and you went to your shop. Coming back in the evening time, or you went to work, coming back in the evening time, uh, finding out that they have demolished your bu the building you in which you live in, uh, your property has been crashed. Of course, you know how hard you work to be able to come by that property and nothing remains. So I think the government should also try and consider the people because that place that the government is demolishing now. The another question is: Are they ready to start start a new development there? Is there any particular thing they feel they want to do there? But if there is nothing they want to do there, let them leave, leave these people to enjoy their life for now. Let them leave these people. Because you can't tell me that uh, these people, they built house on this map, this shop, and you now, you are not even ready. Right? The preparation is not even there. Then why did you demolish this the people's house if you are not yet ready to develop that particular environment? Why not leave it that way? The thing is, um, whatever you are doing, they check if it were you. Because nobody is above the law. Nobody is above temptation. Nobody is above uh, uh, falling into one thing or other. It could be you. It could be another person. That is why every day you're supposed to pray to your God. Say, Almighty God, uh, I beg, give us our daily bread. And as they give us our daily bread, one, give us good health. Uh, give us good health and long life. 
so that we go take enjoy enough bread as it be. Meanwhile, now here I go the wine and the cousin. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you'll be the first one we'll collect them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.